Hello people, I'm here again with a little bit of PLC tutorials for iDeck. I have a uh, new subscriber, James Dye, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, please forgive me if I'm not, asked the question, how to cycle a motor on for 45 minutes and off for 15 minutes. I'm going to do a little short video over that. Notice up here I'm up to a whopping 254 subscribers. That's pretty good. I know it's not a lot, but to me, that's pretty good. There's a lot of people, I hope, getting some help from my PLC programming tutorials on the iDeck stuff. Um, keep the questions coming, and as I get a chance, I am a working man. It's hard for me to get turned loose sometimes to uh, do the videos, but I do try. I ho hope nobody thinks I'm neglecting. I'm not getting paid for this, I'm <laughs> but I'm doing, doing the best I can at it. Anyways, let's get into the video. Uh, he's wanting to make like a pump motor I'm taking it come on for uh, 15 minutes and or on for 45 minutes and off for 15 minutes let me get when LDR opened up here we'll see if we can show you how to do that I'm gonna get this opened to where we can see it on here Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to make us a pump. All right, the first thing I want to do is, I guess it's not the first thing I have to do, but I need to make a timer that cycles. It's going to return to itself. It's going to sequence back into itself. So this is one way to do that. I've had done this with a pump before. It's not really that hard, and this is the way I've done it. And like I always say, there's 10 ways to skin a cat. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. There's probably easier ways to do it. This is just the way that I had figured out how to do it, and it seems easy enough to me. So let me do the program real quick, and we'll um, go through, and I'll show you what's what on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still use these basic commands up here so people can see what I'm doing. So we're going to put a normally open there. All right, this is going to be my my switch. It's going to be a toggle switch that toggles this pump cycle on and off. So when the switch is off, the pumps will not cycle on or off. When the pump is on, it will cycle on for uh, 45 minutes and off for 15 minutes. Okay? So uh, we're going to call this I0. Oop. See, I'm trying to type stuff in. I'm, I'm doing it backwards. Here we go. I, double, I got, forgot I got to double click. I'm used to doing keystrokes. So forgive me. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be I zero. We're going to call this on off. Okay. Now I'm going to use a bit, a couple of bits to control all this. So I'm going to go ahead and put me an output on here. Oops. I did that the keystroke way. Sorry. Type in out. I've showed y'all this before. But you can type in outputs by just typing out instead of doing all the double clicking stuff on it. So I'm going to call this one M0. All right, so basically when I turn on I0, M0 is going to come on. Okay, but I want a timer in between here, and I'm going to have to put a few other things in here, and I'm going to show you why, what, I'm, what I do when I do it. So I'm going to start me a timer, and I want to use a, what's called a single output up. There it goes, keystrokes again. SOTU, type it in, pulls up single output up. Hopefully, you're learning something when I'm doing this. I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm um, used to doing it the way I do it. Anyway, single output up right there. I'm going to place it in right here. Okay, my next thing in the sequence is going to be a normally open again. This is going to be my off, and I'll show you why, but it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to double click it and make it I zero as well because I'm going to toggle it on and toggle it off. Toggle on, it's going to see one pulse and go through here. This is going to be on. It's still going to leave it on. When I toggle it off, it's going to actually cut the circuit right here. Okay, then I'm going to come down here. And this is where I'm going to put a, a, a turnaround, basically. And I'll show you how all this works to oh, back up here all right so I put my normally close right here I'll double click it this one is going to be M1 behind this I'm going to put a single output down 
single out foot down right there. Okay, I'm gonna draw me a line here to here to connect those. Whoop. I gotta get rid of that. I didn't mean to put a line right there. Okay. Right, um, right here, I'll show you why all this is gonna work here in a second. We're gonna also put another normally closed right here. And this is gonna be the same as this, M0. And I'll explain why it works here in a second. Like I say, there's plenty of other ways to do this. This is just the way I would do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put me another uh, normal closed right down here. M0. Okay, let's go ahead and throw some timers in here. I want to put my TMLO. Whoop, there are keystrokes again. See, it puts a timer in there. Or you can come up here to right here, TML. I'm going to use a one second for this demo. You can go up there and use the milliseconds or whatever. I, I use a second, and you can put math in front of it if you don't want to count all the seconds it takes for 15 minutes and 45 minutes. You can put a little math equation in front of it that does the calculation for you if you want to. Anybody needs to know how to do that, then I can show you that also, but it's, it's not that hard of a thing to do. So we're going to call this T0. All right, and this is going to be my off delay. I'm going to set this one for 10 seconds just for this video. All right, and this is actually going to be an off timer. I think if I'm doing this right, it's going to be an off timer. This so right here, we're going to make it. I'm kind of fumbling around today in a T1. Timer. My on delay timer. I'm going to set this one for five seconds. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here and put another output on this. I'm going to double click that and we're going to call that M1. I hope you're starting to see how this goes back. M1 is referencing back to this. M0 is down here to this. That's my loop. Okay. And we're going to use M0 as our input. I'm going to double click this. M0. All right. And this is what's actually going to be the pump. Now I'm fixing to put the pump in here. Output. This is going to be Q0. Here, let me go ahead and show you that. Notate it that way you can see it on here what it is. Pump, motor, fan, whatever it is. You're running a vent fan for a shop or a pump and a sump or something or that you don't have float control over and you want timing control for circulation or something like that. That's what this would be used for. Okay, anyway, that's pretty much our... Um, let's see if this thing works. If I got my timers right here, I get these ass backwards sometimes. Go up here to on. Let's go ahead and save it. We'll save it as a pump. Okay, I'm just going to go to online now. Let's turn this thing in simulation. All right. See our pumps going. It's trying to. Well, you got nothing running. It tried to start a time, but it didn't time. Uh, watch when I turn this on. Gives it a single output. I think I got my timers backwards. We'll see here in a second. Pumps off for five seconds. Let's see if it comes back on. Oh, no, I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay. On and off switch, I forgot. Leave the switch on. This you, this is a toggle on and off. So now you'll see it start and stop. Here's your pump down here. So see, it was off for five seconds. Now it's going to be on for ten seconds. On. 
on. It's still on for 10 seconds. Here we go. Now it's going to be off for five seconds right here. All right, that's how you stop this sequence is with this toggle switch. So when I turn this toggle switch to off, once it gets done with this pump, it's going to stop. Because now I have eye open. I can't get an input to this, this uh, timer to get this timer to run anymore. Start it again. Just turn it back on. Turn it, it's a toggle switch, not a momentary. Remember that. It's an on and off switch. Okay. See how the sequence works? See it's timing off. It's on still, but it's... You know, Counts down and it's going to go off and it's not going to come back on. Because I have this cut, so it's not going to let this on timer run again. You could actually, if you wanted to kill this, you could move this over also and put the same thing right here. And that way when this this uh, M0, instead of the M0, you'd have the M1 next to it. And that way that M1 would kill it also. But anyhow, that's that's how you do it. I hope it helps somebody. If you got any questions on it, let me know and I'll help you if I can.